Good evening. Good evening. Today, we celebrate the Ascension of the Lord and we welcome all, especially those who are visiting. A special remembrance is made in this Mass for Helen Cronick. Would you please stand? Our opening hymn is number 429, Hail of the Day with the Six Hymn Rocks, Hymn 429.
Son today ascended to the heavens as the apostles were shown. Grant, we pray, that in accordance with his promise, we may be worthy for him to live with us always on earth, and we with him in heaven, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation, resulting in knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call. What are the riches of glory in his inheritance among the holy ones? And what is the surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe? In accord with the exercise of his great might, which he worked in Christ, raising him from the dead, and seating him at his right hand in the heavens, far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put all things beneath his feet, and gave him a head as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The ascension is an event that has ramifications for all of humanity. That Christ, having defeated death, will come again in glory to judge the living of the dead and to establish 
his eternal kingdom of light. Now to unbelievers, the ascension may seem impossible, but to the Christian believer, the ascension is Christ's journey home to his eternal Father, to the one who first entrusted him with the mission of humanity's salvation. The ascension is therefore the culmination of the great mystery of our salvation that began with the Annunciation when the Word became flesh and took on human existence. And even in this departure, Jesus promises to be with his disciples throughout all the ages. Jesus will not abandon us, but through the mystery of ascension, he who once lived on earth is now present to every generation in every age. So in many ways, the ascension is that key piece to our Christian story. Because without this piece of the story, Christianity would be nothing more than a religion of memories. We would simply be recalling and celebrating past events, but they would have no real and lasting impact on our lives. But with the ascension, Jesus not only returns to his Father, but he does so as the risen Lord with the whole of his earthly life, his ministry, his passion, his death, and his resurrection. And from this moment on, this on, this great moment, all of humanity has a place in the eternal life of God. <clears throat> from now on, <clears throat> one who is like us, fully human as well as divine, has ascended and has taken his place at the right hand of the Father. So as we celebrate this great feast of our faith, let us hear with refreshed hearts that promise that Christ made to be with us always and to send his spirit upon each of us that we may be enlightened in faith and faithful in all the ways of our new identity in Christ. So let's pray as we go forth from this celebration that we might be filled with that hope of eternal life in God, a hope that is founded in the person of Jesus Christ, who is both God and man. Together now, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father of all maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, one from one, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us, and for our salvation, he came down in heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under the precious Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world. 
God has given us the Holy Spirit that we might be faithful disciples to all nations. With trust in his goodness, let us offer him our prayers this day. For the church, may God continue to make us into his holy people, proclaim with zeal and commitment that promise of Christ to be with us always. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who lead our communities, governments, and nations, may the Lord give them the strength to govern wisely. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For vocations to the holy priesthood and religious life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick, especially those struggling with mental illness and for those who care for them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all within this community of faith, may the gift of the Holy Spirit help us be faithful witnesses to the new life offered to us in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the souls of the faithful departed, may God, in his mercy, grant them eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, by ascending to your right hand, Jesus has restored to us the promise of eternal life. Hear and answer the prayers that we have offered in his name.
pray, my brothers and sisters, and my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, his only begotten Son, our high priest, is seated ever living at your right hand to intercede for us. Grant that we may approach with confidence the throne of grace and there obtain your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, for the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder. Meteor between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident in following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with passable joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers of the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Blessed Joseph, your spouse, 
with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament, and I love you with all things that I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you're already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. 
Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May the gifts we have received from your awful Lord kindle in our hearts a longing for the heavenly omen and cause us to press forward, following the Savior's steps to the place where for our sake he entered before us, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking to ruin us all. Amen. Our recessional is hymn number 430. Go make of all disciples in 430.